Well, you can hear those war drums beating, can't you? Um, China and Taiwan and, you know, you already got the whole Russia, NATO deal. And um, we know that what kicks off the four horses is, of course, the first horse, the white horse. It's the crowning moment of the Antichrist. Uh, I guess I guess we can go to Revelation 13, that's your 666 chapter, and it says, I saw one of his heads as if it were wounded to death, and it's stated again and again, uh, verse 12, verse 14, and you get to the um, Revelation 6, and that's that white horse says a crown was given unto him he doesn't earn it and at that fourth he goes forth conquering and to conquer well that's a deadly wound when you're like well he's dead <laughs> how does he go forth conquering and to conquer <coughs> well because he like we've talked about he's not really dead that's why you've got like james bond um no time to die so there's your James Bond, No Time to Die. And 007, it's the seventh king, like we've been talking about in previous videos. And, um, excuse me. So um, let me refocus what this video is going to be about here. Hang on just a second. Oh, the war drums. So when we go, I think we need to go one more. Let's go Hebrews 2 Niner, right? So you go Hebrews 2, 9, and it talks about Jesus suffering of death crowned with glory. So the Antichrist has a crown given to him. So we know that's about his death. So I was wanting to uh, tie that together for you and then get into Beyonce on Red Horse. So Beyonce has been on the Red Horse, okay? Beyonce on White Horse. And then lately, she just did another where she was on a white horse. And um, Renaissance horse imagery sparks apocalypse theories. So, you know, again, red horse, white horse. And that's what you get in Revelation. It is the... In Revelation 6, it is first the white horse, which is crowning, given to him because he doesn't earn. He doesn't really die in, in rape. You know, he doesn't really die. No time to die. Right. And then you have the red horse. And that's take peace from the earth. So until. The, the real world war does not start until he goes down. So the war drums are beating. Well, if they're beating, but he's still alive, you know, Trump's at CPAC this week. I mean, you know, could happen anytime. October 7th really jumped out at us today. Big time. Uh, August 17th, like I've been saying, August 19th, August 10th, huge. Uh, and then him rising on the 12th when, when it's a midpoint of four different total eclipses and the same day series the dog star rises something's going to happen august 12th we suspect because again it's serious the dog star rising on a midpoint between the two uh pre the two total lunar eclipses the immediate before and after and two total solar eclipses the immediate before and after so the midpoint between uh, the last and future four total eclipses, lunar and solar, all hit on August 12th. It sits between two lunar total eclipses and sits between two total solar eclipses, August 12th does. And it's the day Sirius the dog star rises. And the day coincided with the full moon that's on the 11th and, you know, 11th, 12th, blah, blah, blah. You know, full moons are kind of the day before day of and day after 
you know, 24 hours before, 24 hours after the, when it, when it's exact. So it's, it's, it's so hard to say what's going to happen on the 12th. And it's extremely hard to say what, when the antichrist fake uh, deadly wound moment is going to take place, but the war drums are beating right now. And in other words, the red horse drums are beating, but the red horse doesn't actually get kicked off until you first get the crowning moment of the deadly wound moment of the Antichrist. So how close are we to that? Do we have to wait till October 7th? Or I'm telling you that November 4th, 5th, 6th range is big too and there's a total lunar eclipse on 88 november 8th 11 times 8 is 88 88 is trump and gematria so is king kong so it was good luck which is why i've shown you two clips two separate clips where <laughs> james Wan was told good luck by four different people they always say good luck bond in every james bond movie Good luck, James Bond. Let's see if there's ever been an article about it. There it is, Living Daylights movie clip. Good luck. So it's 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 every single movie. What is James Bond famous for saying? James Bond last whatever. Good luck, 007. Don't cock it up. Well, that's another. Um, good luck, 007. Don't cock it up. Skyfall. It was Skyfall where it was said four times by four different people. Good luck, 007. Where did Daniel Craig and Bond French? Anyway. Anyway, 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 that's it. The war drums are beating. So how close are we is basically what this is about. Love y'all.